Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create this very simple quiz website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's start. As you can see, when I refresh, this is the default quiz interface which will appear. As you click on play, it will show you a number of options and the question. If you click on any option, at first it will show it is correct or incorrect by giving the indication with red for incorrect and green for correct. Then the button will be disabled. As you can see, you cannot click on any other option. Then you have to click on next and then again choose an option. And then after you choose an option, then only this next button will appear. And then click on next. Then choose an option click on next and as you finish all the questions your score will appear if the score is above 40 percent then it will appear as green if it's less than 40 percent then it will appear as red and you can click on play again to play the quiz again so this is the total working functionality of this website let's start building it at first you have to create a folder and i will open it using vs code so right click and click on VS code. So at first I will create index.html. Similarly, I will also create two files named script.js for writing the JavaScript and then style.css for giving the CSS styles. If I click on exclamation mark and click enter, then the basic code snippet for HTML will appear in VS code. Save it and cl right click here. Click on open live server to open it. It will open. It will take some time. So as you can see, this is the live server which opened in index.html. So at first I will create a division with the class name app. Inside this I will create another division with the class name quiz. Inside it, I will create a division for the question answers whose ID will be QA. So inside this div with the ID QA, we will have our question answers and after that we will have our button. So inside this button, we will have our either next button or the play button. So at first we will have our play button. So within H3 tags. I will type the text play and I will give the ID next BTN. So inside the div with the ID QA we will have our question answers and inside this after that we will have the next button or the play button or the play again button. And inside this div ID QA we will have our question and answers. So h2 tag for question id will be question and then we will have our answer buttons div id equals to answer btn so inside this division, we will have our four buttons for the four options. Okay. This I will change dynamically using JavaScript. So let's save and see the output. As you can see, only the play button up appears, but the heading does not appear. We will give the heading h1 tag. solve this quiz or solve the quiz and I will give an ID to the h1 tag div ID will be heading let's save it as you can see our heading solve the quiz and the play button appears here after this if you remember when I click on this play button the question and options appear so from where I am getting these options and the questions for that I will have a JSON file I already pasted my JSON file here 
So as you can see data.json is the file and inside that we have four items for now. You can add more items and inside this we have the question, the four options and the answer number. So I will go to the script.js file and I will import the data. Import data from data dot json and i will make sure that it is of type json for that i will assert it type will be json Now to know the number of questions and answers, we have total number of quiz questions. To know that I will store the number of questions in a variable const number of question equals to data dot length. Then I will take the question element from this HTML file. As you can see, we will have the question inside the h1 tag, h2 tag, sorry, and it will have the id question. To extract this, we will take a variable question and I will do document dot get element by id. The id was question. Similarly, I am copy pasting it. Similarly, for the answer, uh, we will have the answer options inside the division with the ID answer btn. For that, we will have answer buttons. And the ID was answer btn. For the next button, we have the ID next btn. And inside this ID QA, we have our question answer pairs. So also we have to take this ID QA. And I will give the variable name as QA only. We have our question. We have our QA inside which we will have the question answers. Then we have our answer buttons inside which we will append the answer options which are also buttons and then we have the next button. So instead of the variable question I will give each question. Let's output the number of questions we have from the JSON file. So I will just do console.log number of questions. If I inspect and I go to console, you can see nothing is appearing here. Why? Because we have not added the script.js file to our HTML document. Let's add it. So script src equals to script.js. So now we have added the script.js file to the HTML document. Let's see the output. As you can see, the error here is showing uncaught syntax error cannot use import statement outside a module. So here we have to give the type as module because we are using a JSON file we are importing. So the JavaScript cannot recognize it by default. So we have to give the type module. As you can see, the number of questions it's showing four. Now I will trigger an event whenever I will click on this play button the questions will appear for that. I will go to the script.js file 
and I will use the next button which has the next BTN ID and I will add an event listener to it click and after clicking the next button I will just console.log this number of questions let's see whether it's working or not let's refresh and whenever I click on this play button as you can see the number of questions 4 is appearing on the console so the next event is working now what we will do we will extract the question and we will display it here so I will take a constant current index and I will take the current index as 0 and I will take the score variable inside which I will store the scores and currently it is 0 at first then I will create a function show each question show each question is our function and inside it what I will do is I will change the value of this play to next whenever the question will appear the next button should appear not the play button so next button dot inner HTML should be next next should be written inside it and then we already have this QA if you remember this QA division have the question and answer inside it so QA dot style dot display I will give as block so previously at first when we have not started the quiz then the QA should be display none so I will give style display none so initially no question and answer should be displayed but when I will click on this play button the text inside the play button should change to next and the questions should be displayed so when I will click on next the QA should be displayed to block and now I will extract the current question from the JSON file so current question will be data current index as you can see like this like this we can iterate through a b c and d options because we are converting the ascii value to the string after that i will take the button and i will change the inner html of the button to the particular option for that I will use the data and I will extract the current item from the current index which is 0 for now and from that uh, I will give the option number to extract the particular option how it navigates is that at first it will go to this data which is the JSON file and from that it will go to the current index which is the first index for now uh, for the index 0 it is this option and then inside this it will search for the option number which is 65 plus i if 65 plus 0 it will point to a so it will go here and it will search for the index a and it will print the value Elon Musk inside the button so I am changing the inner HTML of this button to this particular option after that what I will do is I will add a class so button dot class list dot add btn so I will add this btn class to each of these buttons to style it later and then I will append this button element which I have created for each of the four options to the parent answer buttons division so if you remember we have this answer buttons inside which I have used the document or get element by ID answer BT and inside this division only we will have our four options after that I will change the int to let because I had made a mistake there and I will give this button within double quotes uh, because we are creating the element button and let's save it let's see the output if I click on the play button as you can see the question who is the founder of Facebook appears and the 
four options also appear and the next button is also inside it let's now design it to give it a beautiful look and after that i will continue with the script as you can see i already added the margin and padding as zero and the fan as you can see i have already added the margin padding as zero and the font family i changed to sans serif and box sizing border box but this will not reflect because i have not added the style.css file to the index.css file index.html file for that i will give the link tag and within that i will give rel equals to style sheet and the href equals to style.css save it and now you can see the border and the margin padding became zero and the font family changed to sans serif then i will give the background of the body this particular url i have taken from the internet you can take any other image url from the internet and give then background repeat no repeat height and width i have given 100 view height and 100 view width and the background size is covered and the overflow is hidden after that what i will do is i will take this app element if you remember in the index.html file we have this app class which surrounds all the other elements of this quiz so this app class i will take dot for class and then within that i will give with 40 percent and color background color as white as you can see the background color become white after that I will give the margin as 100 pixel auto 100 pixel means from top and bottom the margin will be 100 pixel and from left and right it will be auto and then the border radius I will give 10 pixel and padding 30 pixel as you can see the sides became rounded after that I will give the heading I will style the heading text I will align to center so that the heading gets aligned to center then I will give the color this particular ocean blue or green color i will give and then i will also give the text shadow as you can see the shadow is from the uh, x-axis and the shadow is of color black okay after that i will give the font size i will increase the font size to triple x large and then i will give padding to this quiz box padding is added then for the questions if you remember the question we have inside the h2 tag so the h2 tag i will style using this font size i will keep 18 pixel then the color i will give this particular color and the font weight i will give 700 okay so if you click on play then you can see the question in blue okay so i have given an extra border radius so i will delete one of these so i will like to keep it 39 pixel and i will delete the 10 pixel after that what i will do is i will design each of these buttons as you can see the buttons appear like this it has a border and it has a background white it has a color black so for that i will directly paste the styling for the buttons here uh, to save time so as you can see the background i have given white uh, then the color i have given black and the font width 600 and width is 100 percent for now i will um, comment it out so that you can understand this part and if i save it you can see the border uh, it's uh, coming by default but the background is white color is black and font weight is 600 now if i uh, give border one pixel from top and bottom and solid and the color is black and padding i give 10 pixel then you can see the padding appears and it looks good now if i give margin 10 pixel it looks more good because margin is added and now i will align this text to left because it's coming in center i don't want that i want it to start from the left as you can see it's aligned to the left and then the border radius i will give 4 pixel as you can see it's slightly rounded from the sides and now if i point on one of these options it's, it's not coming pointer it's just coming an arrow but i want it a hand okay a pointing hand i want so now as you can see a pointer is coming because of cursor pointer and the transition i have given one second so that the transition is like this if i give two seconds then the transition will come like this okay so you can give either one second of transition or two second of transition 
then for the next button or the play now button or the play button whatever the text of the inner html will be for designing this i will directly copy paste the css for this and i will explain it quickly the background i am giving uh, blue the display i am giving block because sometimes i will give the display none so that's why i have given it block by default then the padding i will give 0.5 rem from all the sides means from top and bottom and 1.5 rem from left and right so rem is a relative um, padding so you can search about rem and m pixel and all this uh, later for now you just understand that rem is something related to the html uh, body related to the viewport let's comment out the rest to understand the difference it make save now you can see the button is colored next but the next should be written in white and the background should be in blue so i will also add the padding margin as 0.5 rem from top and bottom and the left and right margin i will give auto border should be none border radius should be 0.5 rem i want the border to have a slight radius to be rounded and then the color i will give white so as you can see now it appears like this and i will increase the font weight to 600 and i will delete this border radius again and the cursor i want pointer you can also give two seconds of transition uh, so let's say when it appears like this as you can see the box of this quiz is appearing narrow because the screen size is changed if i make it full screen then the box size is adjusted right but if i decrease the screen size then it is not responsive for that i will add a few media queries as you can see media screen max with 1000 pixel so if the screen size is 1000 pixel or less the width will be 50 percent if it's 800 pixel or less then it, the width of this box will be 60 percent of the whole screen size if the width is 600 pixel or less then it will cover 90 percent okay if i save it now you can see the size of this quiz box is correctly adjusted as you can see uh, so I have not demonstrated that in detail because I want to save time and you can see from the top that it's 967 or less so for now this box is covering um, for now uh, it's uh, less than 1000 so it's covering 50% of the screen size okay uh, as you can see it's covering 50% of the screen size as I decrease the size of this screen so now it's 700 for uh, 800 or less max with 800 pixel or less it's covering 60 percent of the screen size and if i further decrease it 508 so for this 600 pixel or less it's covering 90 percent of the screen size as you can see this white box is covering 90 percent of the screen size and if i change this screen to iphone ac it's fitting right if i change it to airpad pro then it's also adjusting and then if i surface pro if it's also adjusting so this is a responsive site uh, you can make any more changes if you want for now i will keep it like this the next step is to choose the option so if you remember whenever i used to choose an option if the option is correct then it will appear green and if the option is incorrect it will appear as red so if i choose an incorrect option it will appear as red and also the correct answer will be shown in green but if i choose only the correct option then only the correct option will appear green so what i will do i will add a class correct to the correct option and incorrect to the incorrect option if the incorrect option is selected for that at first i have to add an event listener to the buttons which is a click event so i will go to my vs code in the script file at first i will do is i will add an event listener to the button so button dot add event listener click and a function select answer i will use so let us make the function select answer function select answer 
and here I will pass the event E. From E we can get the value of the event that is the value of this particular option which can be either Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg etc. So after that what I will do I will create a constant variable correct option to get the value of the correct answer at first. If you remember that in the JSON file we have answer B. So B is the option number or the index number of the correct option but B is not the actual option value. So for getting the value Mark Zuckerberg in this case what we have to do is at first we have to get the value of the index answer so that is B. Then using this B index we have to search for the value which have the index B which is Mark Zuckerberg. For that what I will do is I will go to the data which is the JSON file and inside that I will navigate to that particular index current index and inside that I will take the value of the index answer. So this answer index has this value B. So I will get B here. B will be stored in this correct option. But that is not the correct value. So to extract the value from the B what I will do is correct answer variable I will take and inside that I will store data. I will then go to the current index and then I will go to the correct option that is B. So B is already stored in correct option if you can map it like that you will understand. So B is already a current option. B will appear here and it will search for the value of B and it will store Mark Zuckerberg here in this case. Then I will check if the value which I have clicked that is uh, suppose I click on this Ritesh Agarwal. So if Ritesh Agarwal is equal to the correct answer that is Mark Zuckerberg or not. So I will compare the two values. So correct answer, correct answer already has the value of the correct answer triple equal to e dot target dot text content. Why e is the event dot target will get me this element, this button element, this particular option and from here text content function is used to get the value of that particular event. Then if uh, this both equals that is the I have clicked on correct option only then what I will do is I will add a class correct to this particular option e dot target dot class list add correct so correct class will be added and score will be increased by one and if I add this class correct to this particular option what I will do is I will also add a style to the CSS file which is correct the text color will be white and the background color will be this particular green color so that whenever I click on the correct option it will appear as green let's see so if I click on play button if I click on the correct option then as you can see the correct option mark Zuckerberg turns green similarly if I click on play, if I click on an incorrect option, it should turn red and the corresponding correct answer should turn green. For that, what I will do is, else, if I have not clicked on the correct answer, then it will not get, it, it will not be equal to right. So it will come to the else part. So e.target.class list, I will add the class incorrect. So I will add this class incorrect to that particular incorrect option. And correspondingly, I will also add the style for it so uh, dot incorrect incorrect will be the class added to that incorrect option so color will be white for the text and the background will be red so let's save and see the output if I click on play and I will click on an incorrect option then the incorrect option turns red but also I want the correct option to appear as green if I click on incorrect option so what I will do is I will iterate through the options using array.from answer buttons dot children. So answer within answer buttons we have all the children which consist of the four options and I will use a for each loop to iterate through all the options and if the option is correct then I will turn that option into green. Even when the wrong option is clicked the wrong option will turn into red and the correct option will turn into green. So buttons dot uh, class list dot add the correct class I will add and after that 
I will disable all the rest of the buttons. So once you click on an option in the quiz, you cannot reselect it because once you click on an option, you will get to know by the colors that which one is right and which one is wrong, right? So uh, one cannot do cheating by again selecting any option. So the buttons will be disabled. So buttons dot disabled will be true. So let's see the output. Now if I click on a wrong option, then the wrong option turns into red and the correct option turns into green. Now what happens if I click on next? See the next question is appended after the first question. But I don't want this. I want to delete the previous question when I click on next. For that, what I will do is I will create a function delete previous. As you can see this is the function delete previous. So this I will create function delete previous and inside it what I will do is while the answer buttons dot first child while the answer but as you know answer buttons is the parent division inside that we have all the answer options. So if the answer button has already a child consisting of options of previous question then I will remove that child. Then what I will do at first, I will remove the next button because at before uh, selecting a particular option, the next button should not appear, okay? Only after selecting an option, the next back, uh, button should appear. So what I will do is next button dot style dot display equals to none, I will do and then I will remove the child, answer buttons dot remove child, which is answer buttons dot first child. So if it has any previous child, uh, previous question so it will remove the previous question and it will add the next question and as you can see the next button is uh, di disabled so the next so as you can see the next buttons display is none before selecting a particular option but when you select a particular option the next button should appear so after selecting it after changing the colors what I will do is next button dot style dot display equals to block let's say so if I click on play so as you can see the next button is not showing if I click on a particular option then only the next button is showing as you can see it again came to the first question because I have not mentioned what will happen when I click on next for that inside the event listener after clicking the next button I will add a condition if current index is less than the number of questions so if I am not at the end of my quiz if the question number is less than the total number of questions what I will do is I will create a function handle next button so handle next button and inside that I will uh, and on the else part of clicking the next button what I will do is I will call the function show each question so if the current index is less than data dot length it will go to the handle next button function or else it will call the function show each question and inside the handle next button what I will do is I will increase the current index if the previous question was 1 now the per current index will be 2 and then uh, what I will do is if current index less than data dot length I will call the function show each question or I will con call the function show its score. So for now the show its score function I am not doing I am keeping it blank but I am calling the function show each question if the index number is less than the total number of questions. So let's save. As you can see when I click on play and I click on an option click on next it's going to the next question. See it's going to the third question if I refresh again if I click on play it's starting from the second question not the first why because if you remember this play button has the ID next btn so the click event which is happening here next button dot add event listener what it is doing is it's going to the handle next button and here it is automatically incrementing the index from 0 to 1 even before I click on the options of the first question because when I click on play button it's automatically increasing the index from 0 to 1 and that's why in show each question it is showing the second question. 
so what i can do is i can go to the current index i can start the current index from 1 then what will happen is it will increase the minus 1 to 0 whenever i click on the play button so let's save and see if i click on the play button if i click on an option it's showing the first question so it's starting from the first question now we reach the last question but if i click on next nothing is happening now i want to see the score before doing that one more thing i will do is i will add current index equals to zero on the else part of this next button event so what will happen if i am on a question number less than the total number of questions then it will go to this function handle next button but what if i am at the end of the quiz i have finished all the questions and i want to play again then again it will start from the current index so current index will be zero on the else part now let's do the show score function if you remember in the index.html we have this h2 tags having the id question and this question id i have accessed using this uh, variable each question so each question variable contains this id question so inside this question only i will display the score but before displaying the score i will call the delete previous function to delete all the previous question and options and after that i will change the style of the next button to block because i want the next button to be displayed and inside the next button i want play now or play again to be displayed so at the end when i finish all the questions and i get my score i want to play it again so for that the play again button should be displayed now i will create a container uh, i will create a division and i will add this division to the each question parrot so each question is a h2 tag if you remember in the index.html file and i i will append this new division to this parent each question and inside this i will add a class score so score is the class of this diff and inside this i will change the inner html of this class score to your score person score within h1 tags okay so here i will display the score i click on play i choose some random options and as you can see your score one only one of the answers is correct so it's showing the score one but again the question is appearing so what i will do is i will give the inner html of each question to nothing so the question will disappear if i play again and now you can see the only score is visible the question is not visible also i will make the score to zero if i click on play again so if the current index is greater than data dot length here then that means all the questions have been traversed so i will click on play again so the score should start from zero when i click on play again let's see if i click on play i click on next randomly i am selecting and i get the score i click on play again and if i uh, give some new answers as you can see again the score is one so it's not adding to the previous score it's starting from zero when i click on play again one thing i forgot to do is that if i click on a particular option i can again click on options like this cursor is still pointer it's not showing a disabled sign so for the disabled symbol what i will do is i will go to the style.css and i will give this particular css dot btn disabled cursor no drop so whenever the btn is set to disabled then the cursor will be no drop and the cursor will appear like this okay now what i will do is i will change the color of the score so if the score percentage is less than 0 0.4 that is score divided by total number of question is less than 40 percent we scored less than 40 percent then the score container dot style dot color will be red the score will appear in red or else the score will appear in green 
So this is the last change I did. Let's save. Let's run the quiz once again. Play. I click on an answer. Then I click on another option. And when I click on next, as you can see, my score is 1. It is less than 40%. So it's showing in red. And if I click on play again, now if I score greater than 40% it's appearing in green so the score is showing in green the score is not appearing in the center to make it center I will make the text align center so in the style.css file I will add the css.score dot score is the class name if you remember I will give text align center and padding for REM. As you can see now the score is appearing in a proper position with proper padding. So I hope you like this video. If you learned something please share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.